Right, you've seen a couple of photos now of um, the top of this drum. Uh, this thing has been sat here, around the back of this shed. It's out of the sunlight here, it don't get any sun at all in the day. Or well, maybe a little bit coming from that direction over the top of the houses first thing in the morning. But um, before you know it, the sun's already over them houses and it's working its way over south, that south direction, and then across and around, and then it's hidden, basically behind this bit of shed here. Purposely put it here so it's out of the sun. I really thought I'd be onto this a lot sooner, but um, it's been sat here now, it must be a couple of years I would have thought, I can't remember when I bought it. But um, I was a bit worried that everything was all rusted up. However, I have, with a plastic brush here, just given this a bit of a cleaning up here and a rubbing over. And to be honest, it's not really looking too bad. <coughs> Same with that one. But before I undo it, I'm not going to undo it there, I've got it sat up on a couple of bricks there um, to get the water off the top because it was all full up you know right to this level you know with water um, it doesn't look as bad as what I thought it was going to be so I'm going to wriggle this drum out so that I can actually work on it better somewhere up to the end of the shed about here somewhere just wriggle it out a bit and then I can um, empty it from there and uh, get the dog out of the way first. Don't want her around the methanol when it's open. Right, we'll be back in a bit. After a bit of a uh, wire brushing and brushing and wiping and cleaning, and everything that cap now actually looks okay I can't see that I'm gonna have any problems really undoing that um, it's just devising a method to actually undo it um, now I moved on to the other side of the drum with the uh, little cap there as you can see this end here the little tab broke off and it's actually a bit rusty there or it's you know, just rotted away a bit there. But this side of it, the tab did come up, so I should just nicely pull off. As you can see, water is sitting in that, but we'll clean that up now because that needs to come off as well. In fact, thinking about it, I might even just leave it shut, but it'd be nice to have it freed off. Um, We'll see. Normally what you do is you screw a, uh, a pump in there so it forms an air seal really and then this side it um, allows air in but all I need is one or the other to open it because I've got like a, a siphon pump, a plastic pump to use. I don't really fancy using anything um, metal, you know, windy handle metal pumps or certainly not fucking electric um, in here. Um, I don't want any sparks around, see, because it's methanol. And it will go bang. Simple as. It will set fire. It's a bit like petrol really. So um, we don't want anything that will cause a spark. So using something metal isn't a good idea or electric um, we should use plastic siphon or if it comes to it I mean I've had them plastic siphon pumps a long time but um, if they're knackered and the rubbers are gone or whatever um, I've just got a bit of hose at which I can siphon it out with anyway if I can free these off and not have to do them up too tight. To be honest, the drum is all in uh, still in good condition. I'll just give it another cleaning off, wiping down, and sit it on blocks of wood. 
because my biggest fear was the bottom rusting away while it sat here on these slabs but um, as you can see it's quite dry underneath so it's just the water that was sat on the lid so what I could do is get a proper sheet or something to cover it properly keep the water off and uh, sit it up on a couple of bricks which would be a better idea right we'll uh, get out a wire brushing around there clean that one off and then we'll look at opening them We're back again. <coughs> Got frog in the throat. Uh, things weren't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. This cap came undone very, very easily. And so did that one. So how I did it was... Um, that literally went in there like that. It's just about wide enough to catch both of the... Uh, curved edges you know on the cap and then I used the um, adjustable side of the bar and then literally used it as a, a leverage so I'm not sure whether I can actually set this camera up so that you can see me doing it without this thing falling over um, Ah, uh, oh, hang on. There we go. I think that'll do it there. Yeah, just got that balanced. And uh, it literally went like this. I put that on there like that. Yeah. That on there like that. And I give a little bit of a pushing down on the bar so it didn't slip up. And then literally turned it, and it literally did turn that easy. So that, that is undone. So that can go down. And then, um, come to this one, this side. And I've got my pin hammer here. Oh, I can hear that now, sucking air in there. You can hear that bouncing sucking air in now that I've actually released it proper and um, anyway this side was just as easy with the end of that and it literally undid as easy as that so while I'm sitting there and worried about how everything was going to open a little bit there we go that's getting air in it now warm air sucked in it's expanding out so everything's um, literally undid easy. Can't believe it. So we're going to get on and um, put some into some plastic barrels because they're just easier to handle. And uh, what I think I will do is not empty all of this drum, but um, put it back where it was, put it up on bricks and cover it over properly. So here we are, we're all pretty much set up now. I've got the drum on um, just a couple of block, ba block pavers, uh, so it's off the ground. At least this way now I can get my leaf blower underneath to blow all the leaves out, because um, as you can see here I've got lots of trees around, and um, leaves are my biggest problem here. <coughs> anyway, the cap is off. And I've got this old plastic pump, uh, which actually does screw in to the cap there, but I haven't got it screwed in right now. Um, I've just released this so it's loose, so air can get in. And um, I didn't know whether this was actually working or not, but it was working when I was given it. But it's been sat out around by my oil storage IBC for a couple of years. 
Anyway, I've dragged it out, um, cleaned it up, put it in the hole, uh, unscrewed that, let the air up so the fluid levels, you know, reach up somewhere near, and then um, pumped away. And lo and behold, it worked. There we go, it's coming through now. Not sure if you can hear that, but um, it's definitely going in. It's pumping in quite nicely, you can see it at the bottom there, look. Slowly filling that drum up. That old 20 litre drum is more than enough for the mixes I do each time and it's easier to handle obviously you know when I make my mixes. So I did have a load of it all in 20 litre drums but I've now used them all up so hence the reasoning for opening up this big old boy here. Anyway, things never turned out as bad as what I thought they would. And this is pumping, this is working. I've got the tops open. So all is well. That's good. All that remains now is to make sure that I um, go and buy myself um, a bit of tarpaulin or something and actually cover that top so that it doesn't get water sitting on it again. There we go. All is well. So I've had a bit of a clean up, tidy up, swept a few leaves up. These need to go in the bin. Um, <coughs> just uh, tidy up here and that barrel is back where it, uh, where it can sit forever. I'm just off out now to go and buy myself um, a, a cover, plastic sheeting or something to keep the wet off the top so I don't want to have to go through all of that worry again of not actually opening up these. They're now all sealed up, closed up so I just want some sheeting now to cover it all over keep things nice and dry. There we go, catch you later.